All right, so you might be wondering why i am uh, got a park on here. Um, if you lived in Michigan late October, you would understand why. It's uh, getting a little chilly here, but it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about the ongoing debate it seems like there is with whether or not you should start the swing with your lower body or your upper body. There's definitely two distinct camps that I would say. Um, a couple different instructors, and I'll leave them nameless out there. I uh, don't want to feel like I'm throwing anybody under the bus because uh, there's a ton of good instructors out there. But definitely a camp that says, you know what? You got to start more with your arms. You gotta, you can't, you can't let the arms or the lower body rather outrace the upper body. And there's another camp that says, no, no, no. You, you start with a kinematic sequence from the ground up. Um, so I just wanna maybe talk a little bit about that today and help people understand that, you know what? Sometimes for certain people, you might need to think about swinging your arms first for other people you need to really think more about starting your lower body first so um, let's let's talk a little bit about that and keep that conversation ongoing okay so let's let's have this discussion here and talk about should you start with your arms first or should you start with your lower body first let's let's talk about that I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off my my coat for this one because I actually got a swing so I'm gonna have to gonna have to be cold just for a little bit okay so maybe you are that person who gets into that position this is a position I know Tiger Woods worked on with with Butch Harmon for I would say early 2000s Tiger, it was funny, he called it the ole position. So he'd go here and go ole. And if you told him at that point, hey, Tiger, you got to start more with your lower body, that was the absolute opposite thing that would be good advice for him. Okay, so Tiger, for instance, worked on the feeling of actually just bringing the arms down first and leaving the hips back. That would be good for him. Okay, so his thought was start with the arms. Well, what about the person that gets up to the top of their swing and their first move looks like this and they go over the top and they're using their shoulders and their arms. That, would, that advice would just be horrible for them. They need to think about how can they get their lower body involved? How can they start from the ground up using their legs, starting to use the ground pressure, turn, shift, and all those types of things. So it depends on who you are. Don't, don't necessarily just think that there's one perfect way to do it. It matters who you are, what your swing is like, where it currently is, okay? Let's keep this discussion going. Um, I, I would love to hear your comments on this, um, and, and let's, Let's figure out which one works for you because it's not just one or the other. If you like this, please click the like button below. Please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, leave a comment below. Let's keep talking about it.